October 7, 1906. I wrote to Anushka and I told her my fears about not getting the job. And then I received a letter from her about a lamb she'd killed, parts of which they cured and parts they ate for dinner. I felt like my best friend was drifting further and further away from me. Our letters seemed to cross and we rarely address one another directly. And finally today she wrote asking if I got the job, which caused a cry of frustration in me. If only our letters could reach each other more quickly, the distance between us would not seem so far. I think I'm just nervous with the waiting. I've applied for other jobs, but I've heard nothing. Marm says the man still might write to me, but I'm finding that very hard to believe. Maybe, too, I feel jealous about Anushka's life. She seems to be on the path of adventure and wonder, all sorts of new things happening to her. And here I am, stuck at Mrs. Browning's School for Girls with no, no prospects for decent work. Today, our short, stout, overly perfumed Miss Rubin told us that she would aspire to the Gibson girl image and to think of, our, and think of ourselves as delicate roses. Josephine and Fanny were chosen to walk on their tiptoes in the front of the class in their most refined manner. They did look beautiful on the surface, perhaps like pictures. Miss Rubin said that together they looked like a stunning bouquet. Not like you, she said turning to me with a dramatic wave of her hand, and I sat at the window daydreaming. Her attention woke me like a splash of cold water. Prudence, she said, you don't seem to have an ounce of fashion sense. You must loosen, soften. With your hair tied so tightly on your head, you look nothing like a rose. Instead, you resemble a prickly, twiggy thick thistle. I felt my heart turn to stone. I heard the other girls tittering. Out of all of them, she had plucked me like a weed to chastise. I wanted to be anywhere but there. I glanced out the window and, ima and I imagined myself growing into a field of thistles with Anushka, whom I'd pictured in the same sort of purple flower as me. I decided I'd rather be a thistle than a rose. Thistles are vibrant and resilient. I spent the rest of the day mourning the absence of my Anushka, my best friend who used to sit next to me passing me smiles throughout our silly lessons. She writes to me that she hurt her shoulder shooting a rifle. A rifle? How can I answer that when I have never touched a weapon? She writes about skinning an animal, plucking a chicken, riding a horse bareback, milking a goat with one hand, and shooting a lamb, and I fear we're becoming two completely different people who will never share a common bond again. But I don't want to lose her. She's still the girl whose smile I think of whenever I need some cheer.